This is the New York chapter and they've compiled a directory of organizations that similar to them offer free legal services to entertainment clients. Hi everyone, I'm Isaro and I'm an entertainment attorney based in New York City. Welcome back to my channel. Here we talk about all things legal that impact creatives in the entertainment industry. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can find legal counsel, legal services, legal advice for free. Yes, you're hearing me correctly, F-R-E-E. -E. Now, this video isn't for the individual that is looking for help with criminal law, with family law, matrimonial, if you want a divorce, this is not technically for you. Today, I'm speaking directly to creative professionals in particular. Those of you who are planning a project or planning to start shooting, filming, whatever it is that you need to do for your project, but you're looking at your budget like, <laughs> chill out, calm down, maybe this can help you. Now, before you go calling up your nearest lawyer, trying to get them to talk to you for free or for you to pick their brain, please understand that in doing that, you are asking them to do legal work, legal analysis, legal thinking, their job for free. That's not cool. Honestly, it's kind of rude. And think about it this way. If you went into work one day and your boss was like, hey, I'm gonna need you to do this, 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 and that, and I'm gonna need you to stay late. Oh, and also I'm not gonna pay you. You'd look at that person like they have lost their mind. It's the same concept. It's not cool. Legal services cost. There are lawyers who do offer free consultations and those run anywhere from, you know, 15 minutes to an hour. You probably just have to dig through Google to find one of those attorneys. You really won't have to look far. And then there are attorneys like myself who offer consultations for a fee, but they are affordable. And that gets you more time to talk to a lawyer than 15 minutes. And you get to walk away with a recommendation of services that you'll need and other notes on your matter that you can keep and do whatever you want with them, even carry them off to another attorney that you plan on retaining or even one of the attorneys that offer their services for free that I'll be getting into now. Several nonprofit organizations across the country, that is the United States, offer free legal services. Now you may be watching and thinking, okay, cool, cool, cool. I like what you're saying. I dig that. I dig that. Uh, what's the catch? All right, gonna give it to you straight. The first thing is that you don't exactly get the convenience of choosing exactly who your attorney is. Now, for some people, they may not care, but for other creatives, they really, really care that the people that they work with believe in their vision and that they get to vet these people in this, that, and the third. But, I mean, chances are that if you're being paired with an attorney that is offering your legal services for free, they're the bleeding heart type of person who are just gonna support your vision anyway. So, I mean, you can get really lucky in that respect. And second, you don't have the guarantee that you're going to be able to secure legal services immediately and get your process up and running. In many cases, it can take upwards of a month for these organizations to match you with an attorney that can provide the services that you need. That's why I think that it could help a lot if you start planning out this process a lot earlier. For example, if you're a filmmaker and you haven't started your project yet, but you know when in your process you're going to need to sit down with an attorney, then definitely contact one of these organizations at that point, just so you've given the organization enough time to be able to match you with your services. But it should be at the stage in your creative process where you know exactly what it is that you're going to be doing. Finally, none of these places can exactly guarantee that you will be provided with free legal services. That's really just the reality of it. People are volunteering their time to you. <laughs> You're not paying for it. It's 
kind of the way things work and it sucks, but it is what it is. Luckily, with these organizations, they exist throughout the United States. If you check the description box below, I have linked to one of these organizations. It's the Volunteer Lawyers for the Arts organization. This is the New York chapter and they've compiled a directory of organizations that similar to them offer free legal services to entertainment clients throughout the United States. And they even have a couple of international websites. I know that they have Canada and maybe it was France. I'm not sure. All that they ask is that you fill out a short intake form so that they can get an idea of your situation and so that hopefully they can match you to an attorney that can service your needs. And even better, there are law schools that have clinics and clinics are programs that allow law students to take on cases free of charge to the people that they're servicing. And don't worry, I know you're thinking, oh my God, they're just students of law. Number one, the students that are in those clinics had to work hard to be in the clinic. And secondly, they are supervised by their professors every step of the way. These clinic programs work exactly like the nonprofit organizations in that they ask you to fill out a short intake form that is submitted to the law school supervisor right through the website. There's nothing extra that you have to do. And the clinic supervisor then uses the intake form to help match you to a law student that can service your legal needs. In New York, I know that there are 15 law schools and each of them certainly has more than one clinic. In the description box below, I've also included a few links to the different law schools in New York that offer clinics that speak directly to the creative professional in the entertainment industry. Again, all you would have to do if you are interested is fill out the intake form and sit tight until the law school contacts you. Now, this list isn't a complete one and this whole clinic thing isn't exclusive to New York schools. The schools all across the nation offer clinics and if you're outside of New York, it is in your best interest to get in contact with the local school and that's just because laws vary from state to state and that can make a huge difference on what's applicable to you and your situation. So again, if you're interested, all you have to do is get in contact with the law clinic of the school of your choice, fill out their intake form, and wait to hear from them. Thank you so much again for watching. I hope this video aids you in finding the help that you need at the price point that fits your budget and how to avoid that faux pas I mentioned. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Like this video if it helped you any. Definitely share this video with somebody who you think can stand to benefit from it. And in a similar vein, please leave a comment below if you've been able to secure legal services from any of these nonprofit organizations or law school clinic. I know that there are a lot of people out there that will try to sell you snake oil, especially here on YouTube, and this is not that. There are people every day that are getting free legal services and it is changing people's lives. This isn't something that's too good to be true. It's definitely out there. Let's help each other actualize our dreams, y'all. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.